So now let's see how we can work around with shape generators inside of Tinkercad. So in order to work around with shape generators, you can go around onto the top right and under the basic shapes, once you click on it, you got a drop down menu and over here you can see that you have shape generators. So you can choose between featured shape generators which have a bunch of shapes right here or all, all shape generators where there are different bunch of shapes right here with a lot of choices that you can work with. So let's say for example, you want to work with bar chart. Uh, I'm just going to go down, click here and then drag this out and there you go. There's the bar chart right here. So this is the shape that has been generated and each of the shape comes with its own parameters. So right now you can see that the data is 30, 20 and 40 and that is how the data is set. So if I were to set, let's say, for example, um, uh, let's say, for example, if I were to do 60 right here, uh, then it will change accordingly right here. You can see that now it's 60 and 20 and 40 accordingly. Let's just go around and say 600 and you can see that that is how the bar chart actually works. You can increase and decrease the height of these as well. You can increase the width, the margin, the depth, and that is how it actually works around. You can go around and then change the parameters according to what you like. So if I were to go around and then delete this, you can see that there's only two value. I can go around and say something like 500 and then let's go around and 500 right here, just like this. You can see that I can add in more bar, bar charts as well. So depending on the shape generator you choose, you have different parameters. Let's say, for example, this gear, you got the inner radius right here, the outer radius. You can click and drag to change the shape around. You can increase the number of teeth and uh, the height of the teeth as well, just like that. So if I were to go around over here on to featured, you got a different bunch of filtered uh, shape generators that you can use. Let's say, for example, if I were to bring this out right here, it got its own parameter. So there's different type of uh, fit hold. You can save the sap radius, the mushroom offset and so forth. And then work around with this as per what you like. So you can go around right here, decrease and increase this in size, increase this in height and increase the um, offset and so forth and get the shape you want. So if I were to go over here, uh, there's other type of shape generators that I want to show as well. So there's like this extrusion right here. If I were to click this, then you can see that instead of sliders, we got these Bezier handles right here. So if I were to move this, then according to what you actually do here, it moves accordingly, just like this. You can also change out the Bezier handle right here, increase this in size, decrease this to get the shape you want as well. So if I were to change this out, this is what you have. So if I were to go around onto the softbox right here, then you can see that there's different parameters. But if I were to go around, let's say, for example, onto this bent pipe, let me just bring it in right here. You got uh, certain options, as you can see right there. So according to what you now, uh, what, what kind of like save generators you bring in, you can work around with different parameters and then have different options. So that is how you can work around with save generators inside of Tinkercad. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.